Yeah, I know. I preached Stone Age 101 before. But when you're on your walks with permission, you'd be amazed at how many rocks of different kinds that you can find. This is this year's collection of uh, petrified wood. And uh, rest assured, there's some serious pieces in here. And I have collectors come through and pick them up now and then from me. And a lot of private owners will allow you to take rocks. They don't care. Or if uh, a few of them say, I want half. That works fine, too. Some of these petrified wood uh, will bring in a, a nice piece of change. It runs about $3.95 a pound is about the best I've been able to get. $3.50 is more normal. But there's a lot of people that like petrified wood. I've made more money on petrified wood than all of my silver and gold earnings and savings throughout my life combined. Petrified wood has made a lot more money for me for just finding it. It's free that way. And, of course, uh, attempting to uh, get a little more than just a walk when I'm doing different activities or working out at the ranch or different other farms. I always watch for rocks. Keep your eyes on the ground. You might be walking around and walking by a $100 bill and you wouldn't notice it. But the Stone Age has more to offer than this. This is our rock collection. A lot of people have them, but you don't utilize them. You see, this is the time of the year, January. I figure out where I'm going to put my tomato plants and pepper and uh, some of my squash. I figure out the exact locations of where I'm going to plant them, mark it out so it looks good on paper, and then I do it out on the, uh, uh, the garden itself and the different areas I'm going to plant. And I always take rocks and I put them there. From January on, I leave them there till I'm ready to plant. The uh, moisture that comes off the rocks is so minute, and even in a rainstorm, the amount of minerals that come off of that you would think aren't that much to do any good. You'd be mistaken. The minerals are the trace minerals in rocks can make your plants do a lot better. And it's for free. No more paying the chemical companies so that you can grow food. Even a poor man can have some rocks and of course the softer the rock the better it is. You get into the chert and some of the other rocks that are soft uh, they'll wash away a lot more minerals into the ground which your plant needs minerals and vitamins, minerals and trace elements just like you do. So put them in your plants by using the free rocks that you've collected and you'll have uh, an incredible garden. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. Rate this film.